Hey, Team Numis Canada. Today we start an educational series on statehood, the statehood quarters collection, and this is a result of members and subscribers who suggested that I do it this way. So we'll be introducing the first quarter, the quarter, the first page of the quarters, and that would be the first state that joined U.S. Confederation. And who would that be? We'll be right back after this and you'll find out. Welcome back. So it is Delaware. And of course, here we go. And we have the Delaware here. This Delaware was the first state and it joined, it became a state in 1787. And there is the official seal. This steel, the seal of Delaware. And here is the state flag. I'm going to zoom in on it. There we go. And, and the coins. And the unique, the unique Delaware quarter dollar design features Caesar Rodney's ride into history. Rodney was one of Delaware's most outspoken patriots during the Revolutionary War era. He also served as one of Delaware's delegates to the Second Continental Congress that met in Philadelphia in 1776 to organize the rebellion against British rule. When a motion for independence came before the Congress, however, Rodney was absent. As a brigadier general in the Delaware militia, he had been called back to Delaware to suppress a riot. Delaware's two other delegates split their votes on the question of independence, knowing that America's quest for independence may have died without a vote of confidence from all 13 colonies. Rodney rode 80 agonizing miles on horseback through the night of July 1st to 2nd to cast his vote in Philadelphia. He battled heat, mud, driving rain, and thunderstorms, and his dramatic arrival in Independent Halls, Independence Hall in his boots and spurs and covered in mud, took place just in time for the vote for independence. Two days later, on July 4, 1776, he pri proudly signed the Declaration of Independence. And of course, there is the reverse, and this is the, the Philadelphia uh, obverse showing on this side and below we have this lovely mill and this is Birkenhead Mill near the site of the original DuPont Gunpowder Works. It was here that America's chemical industry was born in 1802 and of course Delaware entered the Union on December 7th, 1787. So we'll flip this over and we have here the Denver. Or have the Philadelphia. My goodness, that is the Philadelphia. The other one was the Denver. And there's the coins here. Henry Hudson was one of the first explorers to sail along the Delaware coast in 1609 while attempting to find the legendary Northwest Passage to Asia. However, it was English explorer Samuel Argall in 1610 who named the region in honor of the governor of Virginia, English aristocrat Lord de la War. 
Delaware. Swedish colonists formed the first permanent European settlement in Delaware in 1638 at Fort Christina, now Fort Wilmington. But the colony eventually fell into British hands in 1664 when Delaware was deeded to William Penn, the founder of Pennsylvania, in 1682, and it became known as the Lower Counties. The residents of the Lower Counties were very different, both ethically and politically, from those of the Pennsylvania, so Penn allowed them to establish their own assembly in Newcastle in 1704, although they remained under the rule of Pennsylvania governor. In 1776, Delaware opted Uh, adopted its own constitution and established a state government separate from Pennsylvania. At the same time, it also declared itself free from the British rule. Despite its small size, it was the second smallest of the original 13 states after Rhode Island. Nearly 4,000 men enlisted for the service during the American Revolution although much of the state and the Delaware River fell to the British. Only significant battle fought on Delaware soil was at Coach's Bridge on September 3rd, 1777. After the Revolution, Delaware realized that its small size could be a handicap unless it joined forces with the other states to form a central federal government. Therefore, Delaware enthusiastically supported the U.S. Constitution and on December 7, 1787, voted unanimously to ratify the document. It was the first of 13 original states to do so and has been known as the first state ever since. In 1802, America's chemical industry was born in Delaware. Frenchman E.I. DuPont that year established a gunpowder works on the banks of the Brandywine Creek near Wilmington. The business attained great wealth during the Civil War when DuPont became a key supplier of gunpowder to the Union Army. From that new level of prosperity, the DuPont Company diversified in today's chemical giant and over the decades has spawned numerous related businesses in Delaware. Delaware, Delaware's role leading industrial state was further furthered by its strategic location as major railways were built in Delaware River, afforded splendid deep water ports, ocean going vessels, and as a result, petroleum products and uh, automobiles have joined chemicals and significant industries in the state as significant industries in the state. More corporations are chartered in Delaware than in any other state. The rule of low cost and favorable regulation, its status as a business haven, has given Delaware a thriving service economy. In fact, banking, insurance, and other financial services industries provide the state's largest source of income. The capital of Denver is Dover. Its bird is the blue hen chicken. Its motto is liberty and independence. Its flower is the peach blossom, and its tree is American holly. And the two stamps that are included in this is this 1848 Centennial of the American Poultry Industry, United States Postage, three cents, with a picture of the rooster on it. And of course, this stamp issued September 9th, 1948, honors the Centennial of the American Poultry poultry Industry over one of one half of Delaware's total farming income is based on in poultry, and the chicken is its state bird. 
And of course, the other stamp is the United States ratified the Constitution in 1788 and is double dated 1788 to 1938, United States postage. And this is three cent stamp. This stamp was issued June 21st, 1938 to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the state's ratification of the Constitution, Delaware, was the first first state to ratify. And that's what this, this stamp represents. So there you have it. This is the first state in the coin series, but it was also the first first state to join the Union of the United States. How cool is that? Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe and keep on collecting.